Hi Stampers, this is Travis. Welcome to Video Friday and thank you for joining me today. So today we are going to be using some of the designer series paper from the mini catalog and the mini catalog is in effect until January 3rd. So even though celebration is over, we still have lots of product in the mini catalog that we can be excited about. So this one is called Peaceful Place. And this is a 12 by 12 designer series paper that is mm, gorgeous. So it is silver foil, has um, of course black and gray, but it also has that silver foil in it. And um, although I'm not gonna be using the piece with the silver foil today, I am gonna be using a piece that I am in love with. And it's this piece, okay? So the other side is black and white with some um, silver in it. But this piece is so cute, right? So there's a matching stamp set with this and I don't have the matching stamp set. So I am just going to use this. I'm also gonna use our cork um, designer paper and that is offered again in the mini catalog. This is a 12 by 12 pack of paper and this is real cork. You get two sheets in a pack and if you, it's just unbelievable, really. I mean, it is real cork, thin, layered on top of a piece of, of paper, kind of like craft paper, which the back is pretty cool too. <laughs> but um, of course, we want to use the cork today. So we are going to make a peekaboo card. And I have chosen the um, stitched rectangles as my um, layering um layering tool that I'm going to use today. So I'm going to use two of the rectangles from the rectangle stitched rectangles. So I'm going to use these. I'm going to layer these today and use it with um, our card. I'm also going to use Sparkle of the Season, which is also from the mini catalog, this stamp set. You've seen me use it in the past. I'm going to use the Merry Christmas from this stamp set. Okay. And we're gonna use blending brushes. We're gonna do, we're gonna use some copper foil. So we're gonna go crazy. All right, so let's get started. So the first thing I wanna do is I am going to take my designer series paper. I've cut this six by um, six by four. And I am going to uh, use some blending brushes. I'm gonna use some different colors of ink. I'm actually going to use Mossy Meadow and Soft Suede. So I'm not going to go too crazy with this, but I am going to add some color. So I'm going to open my pads. And I'm going to bring in my blending brushes. So I just keep my blending brushes in this, which is a, oops, which one just fell out, which is a little container. And I just um, don't wash them. <laughs> I make it easy on myself. And I just keep them in here, and it's so easy to find them and use them. I got that one in the brown, which is okay. Okay, so I'm going to use this one. I think this is the one I used for the brown. I could put little labels on them, which I'm considering doing. I'm also going to use the green, the one that I've saved for green. So I'm going to use that. Okay, so what I'm just going to do is I'm going to pull up that's brown or purple. <laughs> I think I should mark these, huh? Hmm. Let's go with um, let's go with this one for the brown. Okay, so what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna pull up some ink. So our blending brushes, right, are three in a pack for $12. And um, they are awesome, easy to use. So I'm just going to spotlight. Do some spotlighting with these um, buildings. We can hear my bracelets. Huh? I'm a bracelet girl. I love my bracelets. Um, so, let's see how this looks. Ooh, that one came out really dark, which is probably going to be okay because I think that's the one I'm going to spotlight. Kind of like this little A frame. So, when I was growing up, my aunt had um, an A-frame on a um, little piece of ground, and we would go, and it was nothing fancy, right? It was back in the day when people didn't have 
really, really nice getaway spots, but <laughs> we would go there and it was so much fun. Um, just being outdoors and I'm going to bring in some of this, um, which color did I pick? Mossy Meadow. So I'm going to fill in with some Mossy Meadow. Anyway, so yeah, it was pretty primitive. We, we would actually, it had an upstairs, had a little upstairs um, with, um, it was a little bigger than that, but it had, um, we would actually sleep up there and we, we'd bring just some cots and, but it was always fun. It had a little tiny kitchen. Um, I wish I still had that place, right? Because it was a nice little getaway. And as a kid, I remember going there with my cousins and just having a ball. We would stay up late. They'd let us stay up late, play games. Um, it was just really fun. So when I see that little A-frame, I sort of think of my Aunt Rainy and um, her little A-frame. So, I don't know. It doesn't make me sad, but it does make me miss it. <laughs> I don't know. Do you have a place like that that you have in your childhood that you kind of remember? So you see, I'm kind of, I'm picking up the ink and then I'm blotting off some of it. And the reason is so I don't get big blobs. I get a smoother, smoother look. And you can always come back and you can pick up some more. So I'm going to pick up some more of the, of the brown. Spotlight like the buildings more now. Okay. I think it looks pretty good. So see how easy it is with these? You can make, um, takes just plain designer series paper and turn it into something a little different. I could have made that any color I wanted. I could have made stripes, anything. So, okay, so I'm going to close these now. So this is soft suede. That was the color I had picked. I don't think I mentioned that. Mossy Meadow and soft suede. Okay, now I'm going to use crumb cake as my cardstock base. So this is five and a half by eight and a half, the normal half sheet of cardstock. I'm going to fold that in half. And what I want to do is, since I am making a um, peekaboo card, I am going to put this on top, okay? But I'm going to cut out a piece, a, sec a little piece of this to make the peekaboo, okay? So what I want to do now is, I do want to go ahead and put my adhesive on the back. Like that. Put quite a bit on here because I don't want that to come loose. Okay, so I'm going to attach that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out a small square and this is going to be on the inside of my card so I am going to ooh, I cut that big okay get my paper trimmer sorry I need to cut that down so I'm going to cut this down it's four by six I think I cut it for some bizarre reason so I'm going to cut it um, four by five and a quarter Ooh, might save that little piece for something. Maybe to put on my envelope. Aha. Oh. Okay. So what I want to do now is I want to go ahead and put this on the inside of my card. And so see how rustic that looks in comparison to the to the silver foil side? It really looks rustic to me. So now what I want to do is cut out my my small square, a uh, rectangle rather. And so I am just going to wing it. I could take a pencil and I could be real accurate with it, but guess what? I'm not going to do that. I'm going to make it easy. So I'm going to bring up my cut and emboss. And I am going to cut this out. Really, right, there's really no um, bad area in that designer series paper. So, even if I even if I uh, don't 
exactly capture the perfect little spot. Even if it didn't cut out the perfect little spot, it did cut out um, close enough, and I think it cut out great. So the reason I didn't put a lot of glue on the back is because I want to keep this separate. So, Okay, so looking good so far, right? There's a peekaboo. Now I think I want to spotlight that a little bit. So I'm going to use some of my copper foil. And I have a little piece of copper foil somewhere. What did I do with it? Oh, here it is. Okay, so I thought this would look, go really well with the cork. So what I want to do now is I want to cut out a little bit bigger piece of this. I'll show you what I'm talking about. It might be easier just to show you. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put my plates back. I'm right-handed, so if you're left-handed, this also works for you. But for me, I'm right-handed, so I'm... Um, Ooh, I cut that pretty tight. I hope this works. I think it will. Okay, so I want to put a little piece of tape on here to hold this in place. Maybe, since I cut it so tight. Why did I cut it that tight? I don't know. Maybe I was in a hurry. Okay, so I'm going to hold that. Looking good. Okay, so I'm going to run this through. Okay. should mention if your plates are, et are scratched and etched, um, you should be a little careful. Uh, mine came out fine, but that could have etched um, into my, I wouldn't have liked it, into my foil. That would have been a bummer. Um, from this, from the... Um, from the plates that are have been well loved and well used. Okay, oh, that's pretty cool. I don't know. <laughs> but I have the centerpiece. I'm gonna knock that out. Okay. So now I have all three of these, and I'm loving that. I'm seeing another card coming around the bend. Now I'm gonna take this piece. Flip it over, and I'm going to put tiny little specks of glue. Tiny, tiny. Very tiny. And that's the cool thing about this, um, this glue, is that this, this tip, you can really be careful. So the smaller, the better, especially on foil, because you don't want it squeezing out. Oop, that one's kind of big. I hope that doesn't squeeze out. You don't want it squeezing out onto your foil. In fact, I'm going to take a little of that off. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is pick this up and put it onto my card. Okay, so I'm sure hold that. I don't have my silicone craft sheet. Duh. Where is it when I need it? I'm just going to hold this down till it adheres. Okay, so that is cork, so let's see. <laughs> Maybe it's needed a little more glue. Not sure. Maybe I should have used uh, regular adhesive. We'll see. Yeah, it's not really sticking, is it? Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay, that didn't work. Let's try the next plan. The next plan is put some adhesive on here. And this should work. So, I learned something. Cork and glue don't really go together that well. <laughs> cork and liquid glue, the cork does not really like the liquid glue, so there we go. Okay, so before we do the last piece, I'm going to stamp my Merry Christmas. And I'm going to stamp that in Early Espresso. So this is a photopolymer set, stamp set. I'm going to put this on my bigger block because it is kind of a long saying. Is that straight? I'm going to put this through my 
lay this on my grid. Well, Travis, it still looks a little crooked to me. Hmm. Doesn't want to lay flat. Okay. I think that's good. Looks good enough. Okay. This is a rustic card, so if it's not perfect, guess what? It'll still look good. So I'm going to use my early espresso ink. I'm going to stamp this on here. Well, it looks pretty good to me. I don't know. If you're pickier than me, not sure you're going to like it. But anyway. Okay, so now I'm just going to do my fishtail. Fishtail. Okay. And I'm going to have this coming a little bit onto the onto the card. So I am going to only put adhesive right here because I don't really want this part to be sticky. And there's our card. Now, does it need something else? It might need a little bling. I don't know. I'm thinking I do have these um, elegant faceted gems. I like these a lot. And I think I'm going to put a few of these on here. Just because it is pretty dark. And I think that does add a little something to the card. So there's our peekaboo card today. And um, you could put your Merry Christmas down here if you don't want it, you know, covering up any of the image. But when you open it up and, um, you know, you still have some space over here. If you're if you freaked out about writing on top of this. You could put a little strip of paper down here to sign it, or you could sign it up here. But I love it. I love the cork. Um, you just really have to try it. it to, it's amazing. So hope you enjoyed this video today and have a great weekend. May you be blessed today and be a blessing to someone. Thanks. Bye.